What is going on everybody and welcome back we're here on the free to play account the bro to max rank and we are going to do our weekly update for the account a bunch of fun stuff uh, has happened and a bunch of good stuff is about to happen within this week we'll talk about all that stuff at towards the end of the up uh, towards the end of the video right we're going to do our little up uh, up to date on the account first then we'll talk about like the future stuff going on for the rest of the week so all right let's go ahead and jump right in with how we do everyone every single week. Uh, with our update on the our profile so uh, we are ranked 664 from rank 663 so we leveled up once this previous week not a lot of grinding really uh, to be to if I'm being totally honest with you so it is that um, our power level is at 731,715 um, from 722,396, so almost a 10,000 uh, power level increase. A lot of that comes from the link level 10s that we've got. We are at 464 uh, from 455. Uh, that is attributed to the link orb stuff that we got uh, earlier, a few days ago that we were introduced, right? So I was able to clean up a bunch of characters that were sitting at like eight, <coughs> link level eight or nine. Some of these links were at eight or nine, right? So I was able to clean up a lot of these characters and get a whole bunch of link level tens, right? Or a decent amount for sure for the amount that we were given. Um, and I was actually able to level up a specific character we'll see here in a second um, pretty well. We'll talk about that here more in a second. So, but our stone count, it's at 770 from uh 698 so a 72 stone increase from last week despite the fact that i'm still missing quite a bit of stuff that i have not touched yet um i haven't done the most recent uh boss rush i have not done it like i just have it it's fucking it's boss rush like come on like boss rush is boring and you can't auto battle it either, so you're kind of stuck having to do it. Like I, I don't like boss rush because it is kind of a snooze fest, right? It's not difficult at all if you have a team that can clear out a Dokkan event, you know, which is a lot of teams, even free to play teams, can clear out Dokkan events pretty easily, right? So it's nothing too crazy, but it's just a tedious thing to do with 35 stones. But it's still something to do, right? Uh, I will get it done before the hero stuff drops to have 800 stones, right? At least a little bit over 800. Um, the the Don Q stuff, the Don Kai stuff, the Testman thing, the the other version of the Hercule event. Um, I still haven't done. I think one or two stages of that, right? Um, so there's still that left to do. And I'm probably missing some missions here and there for sure that I haven't that I haven't done. So there is that that I have yet to do, right? So a lot of little stuff like that that I haven't completed or done. Uh, the other thing too, um, I think I haven't done, actually, right there. I haven't done all this. I have not done all the stages of the newest, uh, of the newest stages added to the Dokkan story. Like I just haven't, right? Um, so there's a lot of little stuff like that. So I can, I could have easily increased my stone count by at least another 40, right? Maybe even more. Um, but I just haven't. And that's pretty much it. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right into the characters we have worked on. We're also going to do the second wish of the Purring of Dragon Balls. I have say sa I saved this just for the video, um, just because you know <laughs> I just felt like it. Uh, let's let's scroll over to the worked on characters for this previous week. So here are all the characters I have enhanced or messed around with in one shape or form. Let's start from the top left. Uh, Goku Black is full level ten links. He is one of the characters that I was affected with the link with the link orp update uh, that just came out a couple days ago. Uh, he was sitting very comfortably, like at eight or nine, right? At like two or three links that are like eight or nine, right? So I got them all done and full level ten links for uh, LR Goku Black. Very very nice dude, strong as hell now, right? Especially big bad bosses at ten. Gohan, same thing. Uh, Boma was one of those characters that I had a couple of links that were like seven, eight. You know what I mean? So I just bumped her all the way to nine. I did not finish her though because she was using too many resources, right? She was one of those. I was like, I could spend all my resources to get her 100% done uh, or I can get a bunch of other characters completely done and then whatever I have left over on her, right? And that's what I, exactly what I did, which leads into Zamasu being full level 10 links, um, uh, Piccolo, Orange Piccolo being full level 10 links, 
and then the Super Saiyan uh, Blue Goku and Vegeta full level 10 links and also Vegito being also full level 10 links. Um, and then I'll just go to the other full level 10 link character, Super Vegeta. So Super Vegeta is one of the characters that I have many of, similar to Boma, that I'm very close to finishing, but I just haven't done. However, Super Vegeta only needs one, only needed one link. And I think it was Royal Lineage. I could be wrong, but I think it was Royal Lineage that was just at 9 and everything that was at 10. But I never put him on a team because... Instead of spending, I don't know, 30 runs to maybe get that last link or maybe even less or more, um, it may sound exaggerated, but that's probably how long it would take. Um, I instead replaced him and put like, I don't know, World Tournament Goku there. You know what I mean? And and use those 30 runs for World Tournament Goku to get him up there. Who A character who I would use and have been using over Super Vegeta, which I don't remember the last time I've used him. Like genuinely, I don't remember the last time I've used him. So... But he needed one more, and I specifically remembered him, so I just got him done. So now he's full level 10 links, so he's looking really, really nice. Next time you see him, Rainbow or Easy A. Whichever comes first, but I'm pretty sure the Rainbow will probably come first. Maybe. I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Um, but whenever he Easy A's or I get him Rainbow, he would be back on this list. But he is done. Um, and then leads up to Gamma. Gamma is one of these characters that I could have spent all my resources on him and got him all the way done, but I decided to get a bunch of other characters done instead. However, what I did with Gamma, though, is I used a lot of the low-level skill orbs to even him out, right? Because he was averaging, like, link level one or two. Like, he wasn't... Like, I barely used him when I got him because at the time, I got everything else. Dude, the eighth anniversary worldwide, all that stuff. Like, I didn't really use Gamma 1 at all, right? Or even the superhero team or Android team. Like... I just didn't, and I have no other explanation for that, right? And I was too busy leveling up other characters that I would use for other teams instead of Gamma. Um, so I was like, you know what? I got to show Gamma some love, right? Because Gamma won. I've I've wanted him for a very, very long time, and dude's still freaking strong as hell, right? So I decided, you know what? I'm going to average him out. I'm going to average him out as best I can without using the the rainbow skill orb. So seven is the highest, right? So moving forward, hopefully he link, link level up, link, link level up, link level up well. Jesus, I probably still said it wrong, but I'm just going to leave it at that. Um, and then maybe one day I'll finish him up, right? And then he will be back on this list for the link level 10 or rainbow or most likely not an easy anytime soon, right? So, but still... Some, some to look. So just, just an example. And I'm probably gonna have more of these characters that are gonna be exactly like Gamma One, where they were Link Level One, or I averaged them out like at five or six or even seven, right? Or maybe even a little bit less. And I'll put them on the list because it'll be something that I use like significant resource for. It'll probably be a, either a brand new character or an old character that I'm just working on, or Easy Eight character most likely. But that, that is an example that moving forward I'm gonna be putting characters on this list for. And then uh, Beers, he's here because of his EZA. And he's actually pretty good. And he links up very, very, very well. And he pairs up very, very well with his LR Beers and Weiss counterpart, right? He's a very good unit. I like him a lot. And I didn't do his EZA video because I forgot and it got too late. And then I just haven't. But he is done. Um, and it was a fairly super EZA, right? So there's not much else to say. Um other than that right but that's pretty much all the characters i've worked on in this previous week uh let's go ahead and do the Purunga second wish and then we'll 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 i'm gonna talk about the wishes and stuff like that so the wish the wish uh stuff is super easy like it really doesn't take that much effort and the wiki is always linked in all my videos that i post so you can easily look up the Purunga dragon ball stuff and it's really easy to do like none of these challenges are anywhere difficult in any way shape or form even if you're flat out rank level one these are super easy to get right so so what i'm gonna do is in preparations for the hero stuff i'm going to get the strength allies because dude there's gonna be like eight ten easy a's coming within this week which is gonna be insane so i need all that money all that moolah right um i need hit a potential for the same thing and super attacks uh, so Grand Kai's orbs and resources. I, I wanted to do the Dokkan festival stuff, uh, for Super Saiyan 4 Goku, but I don't have any extra tickets. So it would literally be just two tickets and that's it. 
Oh, and the one ticket that I haven't gotten uh, through the missions, right? And that's it. Like, I, I would not have gotten anything else. And it, instead of, like, wasting a wish on a bunch of singles that most likely won't turn into anything, I'd rather just get Kai's or Orbs, right? So that's that's what we're doing. Um, and that leads to my final thing I want to talk about So for the hero stuff. So I don't know. I have not decided whether or not I am going to summon on the hero stuff for my free to play account. For my main account, it's like a duh, right? I am going to summon for the hero's banner on my main account. Absolutely, dude. You are you are you crazy? Super Saiyan three Rose, Super Saiyan four Limit Breaker Vegito, and all this other stuff, right? Those two are the only two good ones. The other three headlining units all fucking blow. <laughs> They all, like, seem suckish, bro. Like, it's, it sucks, too, man. Or they'll probably be good as, like, just fun units to use, right? But meta content, all that stuff, like, not really. And since they have heavy restrictions because they are hero characters, it's kind of a, eh. You know? And that's what would have dictated whether or not I was going to summon. Is if the units suck or not. Or if that can be used in them. But because Super Saiyan 3 Rose and Super Saiyan 4 Vegito both look pretty good actually like genuinely they look pretty good and uh we have some very promising quotations promising easy a's and two awakenings from last year that look decent um and not that bad i'm leaning on summoning even if it's just a little bit of stones just for fun because why not right but at the same time i'm like i don't know because I don't know if I'm going to summon for the step up stuff at the step up new year stuff at the end of the year, or if there's going to be like a crazy dual dough confest, uh, in, in December, right. In the ends of December, we don't, I don't know why like, we don't know. It could be a joy like beast go on orange piccolo type stuff. Right. So it's like, I don't know. And I'm not saying that they're coming again, but I'm just saying that something like that, I don't know. Um, and even then I wouldn't even know if I would summon because depending on the quality of the banners, right? Um, I should not have summoned for Goku. I absolutely should not have summoned for Goku. Do I regret it a little bit, but I'm going to live with the decision because Goku is coming two more times and for, and I'm going to summon for Saiyan day. Absolutely. Because Saiyan day is going to have all these crazy characters returning. God, Goku, Super Saiyan 4, Goku, um, freaking, uh, Vegeta and Trunks, right? They're going to be on that banner. And just them three alone, plus the brand new unit, who's probably going to be nasty too, that's going to be a banner worth summoning for, right? So I, sh in a way, I shouldn't have summoned for Goku. That was a lesson learned kind of a thing. Um, but in the other hand, the hero stuff only comes once a year. It's not like the hero stuff has another banner halfway through the other, halfway through the beginning of the year, right? No, it, that's not how it is. It's only November and that's it. And you have to wait until next year, November. And then next year, November is a long way. Um, hopefully, you know what I mean? So unless they change the format and stuff like that, I don't think um, anything's really going to happen uh, moving forward. Unless we get some Budokai stuff and maybe we'll get some crossover stuff, maybe a little banner and stuff like that. But I don't know. There's a lot of I don't knows and not for sure is here and there that I, I, I genuinely don't know. I still haven't flipped the coin. At, at, mo at, bare, at most... At most, I would do for the Heroes Banner would be 300 stones from this account. That would be the at most I would do. Maybe a little bit more, depending on how I'm feeling. But I would not be using all, say, 800 stones, right? I would basically be using a third of it. Depending on how everything goes. Um, or less, if I get super lucky. And at best, zero. Like, I don't summon for the Heroes Banner at all. But we'll see. I don't know. Maybe they'll throw discounts and all that stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I genuinely don't know. Uh, but I guess I guess we'll find out. So, but with that being said, guys, I do appreciate you guys watching until the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think of the video, of the update. Will you be summoned for the Heroes Banner? I'm going to summon for the Heroes Banner on my main account. I, again, still haven't fully decided on my free-to-play, but we'll, we'll see how this turns out. But I'm out of here. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys later. Peace! Take care.